Eight years ago, there were no top-tier female MMA fighters. None. Zip. Nada. Now females are marketed and positioned indistinguishably from their male MMA counterparts. They have the same opportunity to prove their worth as the guys and are seemingly earning on an equal scale. That forward, progressive thinking has seen the MMA industry grow exponentially over the years. Conversely, in the 23 years since Christy Martin signed with Don King, the only growth North American boxing has seen is the kind that doctors rush to remove. Despite the fact that female boxers produce, almost without fail, the most exciting fights on the card, and that they represent a gigantic opportunity for the sport to expand its fan base, for the past two decades they were treated no differently than Martin and her peers were, that is, as cheap undercard eye candy. In the eyes of promoters, women are an afterthought out of the ring and a sideshow in it. But recently there have been winds of change from some of the more progressive boxing powers, who finally are seeing top-tier females like Amanda Serrano, Heather Hardy, and Jelena Mergenovic as opportunities to grow the sport. And with the first crop of high-profile female Olympians pounding down promoters' doors, the time is now to push women boxers as new exciting stars instead of just undercard filler. The challenge is, can a sport as resistant to change as boxing capitalize on this unbelievable opportunity to bring in new fans, new sponsors, and new riches? It's possible, yes, but probable? I'm not so sure. I'm aware this isn't the UFC, where one entity controls the whole enchilada. In boxing, there are dozens of separate interests that need addressing in order for deals to get done. That's been the sport's lead weight. There is no, and never has been, a singular vision or strategy for the sport. A promoter and its network partner sees things one way, and the competition across the street sees it another. What should be the fight game becomes the finger-pointing game. Fights don't get made, sides dig in, fans slowly trickle away. I think to really capitalize on this opportunity, the female side has to operate on its own separate landscape, like boxing's version of the WTA. The men's side of the sport is what it is. Exhilarating, aggravating, dysfunctional, but never dull, but also never normal and hardly rational. Not exactly an environment conducive to widespread appeal to a neophyte audience. The new wave of quality female fighters offers the sport a chance to scrub the blithering short-sightedness that stymied boxing since time immemorial. Follow this advice, promoters, and the collective futures of your new female clientele will be as bountiful as the TV ratings and the new sponsors dying to be a part of the action. But fans who are drawn in by these amazing female athletes won't have their standards or expectations dulled by past disappointments. They'll demand to see their favorite fighters in meaningful fights, and unlike boxing's traditional beaten down fan base, they won't take no, or not yet, for an answer.